everyone. Today I want to share with you a few tips and tricks using the Stampin' Up! trimmer. And the first thing is when you purchase the trimmer, it has a protective film over this ruler grid type area. I personally prefer to leave it on until it starts to bubble and get annoying and then peel it off. And then you've got a nice clean surface again. That way it just preserves your surface that little bit longer and preserves the markings that little bit longer. So this is what it would look like because it's still here on my arm. And all you would do is just peel that off when it's ready to come off. So I've had this trimmer for a couple years and I'm just now trim pulling that off and it's like new all over again. So that's just one way to extend the life of your trimmer. Or you can pull it off straight away if you prefer. Now, speaking of the arm, it does have an extendable arm. So you can cut all the way up to um, just over 17 inches or about 44 and a bit centimeters. So some people maybe haven't realized that that extends out and then tucks back in and it's got a little foot underneath so that it's nice and stable. Now on the other side of the cutting area, which is here, you have another little bit of a ruler about a little less than two inches or about a little less than four centimeters. And that's handy, particularly when you're cutting small strips. So you can use both sides. Of, of the ruler. Now, as far as this cutting area, you do want to make sure that this is kept clean. You could just get something thin, even like your piercing tool, just to kind of um, get out any bits that are in here. You will get a much cleaner cut if this groove stays clean. Now, how to change your blades. So the trimmer comes with both a cutting blade and a scoring blade. And down here on this little plastic part there's there's a little section where there's it's a bit larger but when you're using it it doesn't come out you have to kind of manipulate these these little pieces and then it will come out like manipulate I mean just kind of bend them that little bit and then you can just pop them back in so that's a way you can change your blades quite easily I do recommend that you have spares with you uh, particularly if you're going to a crop or something where you're going to be doing a lot of cutting you want to definitely have spare blades with you now, one way to extend the life of your blade is to cut up and also to cut down. That way you're using both sides of your blade. If that doesn't feel comfortable to you, you can always just use it till it goes dull and then just literally take it out and um, turn it around and pop it back in and then continue using it as you prefer. That way you still can use both sides of that blade. Now, if you are doing quite a bit of scoring, if you're doing one score, then probably just leave it. But if you're doing quite a, a lot of scoring, I would personally recommend you take this cutting blade right out while you're doing that. It's way too easy to accidentally cut when you meant to score. And I think most of us have done that at least once. Okay, now how to measure. So sometimes I see people trying to measure and they have their paper down here which you can use these grid lines to get it reasonably straight. And that's fine if you really want to do it that way, but that's not the easiest way. The easiest way is to have it flat up against the top because this is a straight line. Therefore, you know it's going to cut a straight uh, perpendicular line as well. So you want to have your paper up here. And say you want to cut something at three inches, you would then line up the edge of your paper with that three inches. Or if you want to cut 10 centimeters, then you would line it up using the centimeter ruler, which is up top. You would line up that edge with the 10 and the big line and then cut. And then this piece would be 10 centimeters. Now, one of the other benefits to using this trimmer is you've got rulers in the middle and also a ruler down here at the bottom. So if you're cutting a very long piece, say I'm cutting that at two inches, you can make sure it's at the two inch mark up here, make sure it's at the two inch mark here, and make sure it's at the two inch mark here. And then you can cut and it will for sure be two inches from top all the way to the bottom. You can also use these, these lines to make sure your paper is sitting straight. It's very easy to get it just slightly at an angle, especially if this line that you're measuring it against is not straight. Then you would see that very quickly because it's not lining up with these lines. And on that note, you want to make sure that if you're using the arm, that it's all the way extended. If it's just even slightly like that, you will get 
an uneven cut. And then last thing, you do also have a ruler along the arm here. So if you wanna make a slit in here from say three inches, and it's got a little mark on, oops, that's not the cutting blade. But you've got a little mark on the cutting blade so that you can point it right at the three inches and you wanna cut it down to eight inches. So you wanna make a five inch cut. Then you can just use this ruler right here and get a cut right through the middle of your paper exactly where you want it and exactly the length that you want it. So I hope that was useful and you learned a few things about cutting and using the trimmer. And thanks for being here. Bye-bye.